KM08 Nation, Jason here. Back in the Technum flying in this video, going to show you a single engine approach. Obviously in VFR conditions, we're gonna do it just by calling up approach and doing everything uh, VFR. Obviously not something I really wanna simulate uh, even in, uh, or especially in the IFR environment. So unlike the last video you saw with the true shutdown, we we're just gonna do a simulated, simulated engine failure and simulated feather. I'll show you what that means here in a second. Let's get headed on the approach. For now we have both engines. I'm gonna call up Jax real quick and request that. Afternoon, Jack's approach, Technum 245, Tango Alpha. Technum 245, Tango Alpha, Jack's departure, go ahead. Two and a half miles northeast of the Inverness Airport, uh, 5,500. Like to do a practice GPS 36 to Ocala to a full stop. Technum 5, Tango Alpha, sure, squawk 0425. 0425, 5, Tango Alpha. All right. Zero, four, two, five. All right, and I'm going to let him know in a second here that we're going to be single engine. I'll get back to you in a moment. Altimeter three zero one three. I played out as well. Citation six Bravo Bravo traffic no factor contact Daytona eighteen eighty five. Good night. One eight three under four. Slight change of plans. You're still clear for the approach. Maintain three thousand until advised. But I'm going to call your procedure. Uh, three under four. We'll maintain three thousand until advised. Number five. Tango Alpha. Ready contact about five and a half miles southwest of Towsa. Are you actually direct Towsa already? Yeah, we're set up for that quite well, and uh, we'll also be simulated single inch. So super shallow turns and a little slower than this right now. Okay, no problem. Five Tango Alpha. Roger. Start your descent uh, down to two thousand. Track inbound from Towsa and expect the RNF 36 and out to the 3013. 13, direct to Tulsa down to 2000 for the RNAV 36. 245 take off, thanks. All right, let's get all that figured out here. Let me get my procedure loaded here. RNAV 36, Tulsa, fly course reversal, Tulsa, no. And I'm going to go ahead and activate that approach here now. I'm going to get us on down. Before I do that, I need to go ahead and fail my critical engine. That's how we're going to go ahead and get on down. What we learned last week, right? Dead leg, dead engine. Left legs not doing anything. Right legs doing all the work. Let's take a look and troubleshoot, confirm. Manifold pressure showing nothing. Fuel pressure is good. Manifold pressure showing nothing. It's my left engine that failed. The next question your examiner or someone's going to ask, what are you going to feather? I would feather my left prop, which is this one right here. They're going to say, great, there's your simulated feather, which is basically bringing the gear warning horn off just a little bit to simulate. I'm going to use this also to help me get on down, and to do that, this plane does well on a single engine. I'm going to bring that right engine back just a little bit, which is a little unnerving in a way, but we're going to bring that on down as we do our best to get down. i got two miles down to Tulsa, so we're going to bring that on down and back as well. Tracking inbound to Tulsa, I've got my course. A lot is happening here. Thinking ahead of the airplane. We're briefing. It's a 004 approach course. This is the RNAV GPS runway 36. I know my takeoff and alternate minimums. This is the home airport. I know the mouths are lighting. Missed approach. Climb to 2100. Direct to Kufjo and hold. Uh, I'm on 18.6. I got 119.25. I already have Adis Juliet at Ocala. I'm continuing to Tulsa, which as you can see, I'm coming up on it quite quick here. I'm going to do my best to keep coming down. Text them 5 Tango Alpha. If able, expedite your descent down through 3,000 and maintain 2,000. We'll expedite through 3, maintain 2,000. 5 Tango Alpha. No problem when you get down anyways here. All right, I'm taking this down to 280 feet, 2,000 feet, Number four one, Delta at Tulsa, as he asked here. So we're bringing it on down here, hand flying everything. Everything is pretty good so far here. Watching my temps and everything. It's a cooler day today. So being mindful of my temps, but everything's looking really, really good. Went in to Tulsa here, I'm point seven away from Five Tulsa. Tango Alpha, traffic once you're in down, it'll be 12 o'clock in about nine or miles, southbound track and outbound, 3500 Bonanza. We watching for that outbound traffic above us, 5 Tango Alpha. All right, so he's nine miles away, he's being outbound at 3500 feet. Watching for that. All right, Tulsa, left turn to zero, zero, 006, here we go. Nice, slow, shallow turns here. The VOR 36, full stop, and uh, we'll pass you to the shelter. Thank you. 
section 460, expect the VOR full stop. And it, you said you had uh, the new way right? That's not down. I have the glide slope. Obviously, it's we're still at 4,000 feet. I got to get this thing on down here. Contact Jack's approach 127.77. See you. Get us on down. Got 23 knot headwind. That'll and help. Center four traffic. 12:30 and about six miles northbound, descending 4,000 for lower is a technum. Three nine four. We looking for that traffic. It's all on. Everything's good. Three nine four. Go ahead and start pulling your seat back for me. Normally, I like gear down and everything else back there, but not in this situation. Not in the single engine environment. 66 Victor with you 4,000. That's a 6260 Victor Jacks. Good evening, sir. Expect the visual approach to her long advise the weather right now. Count with temperature 3013. Get her on down here. I need to correct we'll a little bit to the left. left. Not bad. Vision Jet 7 Victor. Vision Juliet. Jet. Contact Jack Center 133.32. Good day. Waiting to approach the Shiroki 6, six miles here. from Fibus. My final approach fix. Number 75 Zulu Mike. Contact Jack's approach 127.77. Take care. 3000 descending to 2000. Jack, so approach Cherokee 514 Mike Sierra, they're heading to 70, 2000 feet. 514 Mike Sierra, Jack's departure, I dank, come and maintain. Something else, too, you notice, I told him we're going to be single engine. I we had a very easy turn, turn, as you can see, but I just wanted him to know that I'm going to be a little slower ground speed than normal. With a VFR request, give me just a moment. And, uh, uh, call me back in five minutes. Okay. So, I need those nice, easy turns, I'm a little slow. Tango off of traffic, no factory, you're about five miles from a fire approach fix, maintain okay. VFR, cleared to RNF 36. Clear for the RNAV 36 approach. Understand traffic, no factor. Thank you. Five Tango Alpha. All right. I'm going to start catching this descent early. We're at about seven, eight hundred feet per minute. I don't have both engines just to, to, to level off here. So I am going to slow that descent on down. Uh, 2000. In fact, technically, now that I've cleared the approach, look at my approach plate, I can bring all the way down to 1700. We'll keep that coming down. Traffic was no factor, as he said. Five miles, 3500. 10 o'clock to your 11 o'clock and about 6 miles at 2700. 9-0 Lima, we'll be looking. Right on the lo over to contact localizer. localizer. Tower's my next frequency. F-182, check your 515. Dead traffic on TCAS, going past. 1,000 above, just like you said. On down, back on my heading here. Descent coming down. Three miles from my final approach fix. A lot to come from that big descent on but down. Three hundred four starts your procedure turn via for altitude or discretion. Three hundred four. A little bit of a late start with that. You can see when you fall behind the airplane, that single engine on it. A lot's happening relatively quickly. We'll get there, no problems. Here the Clayland and the Victor fifty one fifty seven. Watching my instrumentation. Still, I am a VFR pilot, so that's why I'm still. Looking outside of this environment, still have to have to do that. 1900, I'm sorry, 1800 for 1700. I'm gonna get ready to kind of catch that again. I only have one engine to help me, so I need to be mindful of that here. I see he hasn't passed us off to tower yet. Here comes my 1700. As I add that throttle back in, that right foot again gets much heavier to compensate for all that here. Level here. Airspeed's look good. As configured as possible here. I'm going to go ahead and lower my landing gear. Let's There's a transit. I really want to keep it clean as long as possible, but I'd like to get it in just before that final approach fix in this case. I'm going to do it way, way back. My gear's coming down. I will wait on flaps, though, for quite a bit. Three green. Speed's great. Saratoga 390, someone Romeo with you. Saratoga 307 Romeo, Jack's approach, Roger, Ocala, Taylor 3013, good evening. This 3907 Romeo, can we... I slope's coming alive. Yes, approved. A lot of Tango rudder five, in there. Tango Alpha, contact Ocala 19 and a quarter, good night. Have a good one, over to Tower C, if I think Alpha. Probably golf. Ocala Tower, Tango 245, Tango Alpha is half a mile from Fibus. Tango 245 Tango Alpha Ocala Tower, you go be number two following uh, Cherokee traffic on a left base. And runway 36, clear to land number two. 36, clear to land number two, understand. 245 Tango Alpha, thank you. And 5 Tango Alpha, do you have the traffic in sight? Negative contact on the traffic, Tango Alpha. He's on a close in left base, uh, nearing final. Traffic in sight now, 5 Tango Alpha. 
watching him there. Again, glide slopes alive. I've been having a little bit of a tough time kind of holding that. I can kind of raise that dead inch in there a little bit. Since I don't have a lot of wind. It's a headwind. I'm very, very thankful for that. But we're struggling there for a bit. I'm just barely below that glide slope again. But tough. Full fuel, myself on board. Doing our best here to kind of hold that there. I haven't reduced this throttle any here. I'm trying to fly back into that glide slope. We're Fibus inbound now. My best to hold that altitude, kind of working this thing for all it's got here. Speed's still fine. 100 knots. Got the glide slope. Now I can start down a little bit. And I'm going to kind of leave the throttle just about where it's at here. And so we're continuing on down 1,200 for, let's call it 300. Just rounding up a little bit. Continuing on down. Lost that traffic out in front of me for a second. Him, 1,100. 300, I got the traffic again. All is good, he's will be out of the way here in a second. We'll get a little above that glide slope. Localizer's looking good. Two, six, uh, correction, 6-2 Whiskey, turn right at Alpha 8, no delay on the runway. Traffic's on short final. No delay and we'll turn right at Alpha 8. 1,000 for 300. Three green. So no flaps two, yet. Whiskey, remain this frequency, runway 3-6. Pumps full four, everything else is good. Four, Pumps are all on. And we'll taxi back to 3-6 via Alpha. Four landing three, checklist, two. deferred for flaps. Three green. 800. 300. On my localizer, uh, half a dot above glide slope, which honestly in the single engine environment is not a terrible place to be. As you saw it's hard to get that back. On about 98 knots, 100 knots, roughly. 600. 300. Do my first notch of flaps. That's probably how I'm going to end up landing. Duration. Almost look good. 500 for 300. Once these throttles get back to even, uh, you have both throttles, obviously, because there's a little bit of power in this one to simulate that feather. And it, from there, it's just basically a normal landing. 400 for 300. Slowing to 85. All looks great. Okay, good here. Holding it. Let's call 300. Outside, 36 in sight. Power back. Both throttles. Last chance from 3 green. Flaps are where I like them. Pumps on. Before land checklist is now complete. Landed. Yes, peeking in. Confirming 3 green. Speed's looking good. 9 out on the 36 VOA. 3 green. A little neurotic about eight, eight, my gear checks here. Four, Ocala Tower, report of four and for smoothly bring that power back, hold four, it off, hold four, it off, hold four, it off. For runway 36, 394, thank you. And let it roll on through, no need to eat up those brakes. And Ocala Tower, 62 uh, Whiskey's holding short of 36 at Alpha 9, and we're going to just uh, depart to the southwest now. Open up on those brakes now, a single engine approach to landing. You can see how easy it is to fall behind on that. Look, I started up very, very high, and I, I was kind of behind. Cause I was contact coming. go Alpha, turn right Alpha 6, and contact ground point 4. Alpha 6, ground point 4, 5 Tango Alpha. Turkey 6. I was kind of behind with that whole little circumstance there. You want to work to stay ahead of that airplane. It would have been much, much easier if I came in at a better altitude. I started up at 5 because I was practicing some other maneuvers earlier. Just figured I'd come back in, not realizing how quickly uh, that approach sneaks up on you. So listen, have a wonderful day. Can't wait to read your comments below this video on Facebook, on YouTube, on M0A.com. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. We'll see ya. Hey everyone, Jason here again. I hope you loved that video and I know you'll love our online ground school as a special kind of New Year's resolution gift. 
to all our online ground school members. We're giving away our entire Pass Your Checkride series of books. Pass Your Private Pilot Checkride, Pass Your Instrument Pilot Checkride, and Pass Your Commercial Pilot Checkride, all as digital copies to every single person who is a member right now. You can uh, reach out. There's uh, access to that. I'll be sharing that in the webinars uh, on Monday night as well. And if you become a member as well, you can get access to all of those as long as you become a member before the end of January. So before January 31st, we're giving away all of those books for you all. So reach out, become a member today, uh, take action on that and get access to all of our Checkride series books as well.